All right, YouTube, AJ Shaver from Shaver Sales here again, and I'm gonna come a little bit closer to the camera because the wind is just blowing around. But as you can see behind me here, we have a significant amount of inventory in stock. Uh, some of it's still left over from Boonville, some of it just came back from Bunyan, and other stuff is brand new from the manufacturer. So let me grab that camera. We'll do a quick walk around here because it's supposed to downpour rain all day Saturday and most of Sunday. So while the sun is out, even though it's windy and uh, we're gonna lose daylight here in a hurry, I I'll still get the camera and get this video done before all the nasty weather hits. So let's get this done. All right, so I'm gonna do an overview and then kind of go back unit by unit, hopefully. So log grapple, wrapper, brand new Halversons. These just came off the, the shipping trailer yesterday. These are 120s, this is a 140, these are two 150s. We've got split force in the background. So 13 horse, 20 foot conveyor, 11 horse, 16 foot conveyor. Mike Morgan's demo unit, 11, 16, 11 horsepower, 16 feet. And then we have a towable SF9. Now all of the, um, the vertical splitters have the same vertical split to them it's just a matter of what the undercarriage is self driver towable conveyor no conveyor but we'll get into that uh stock brute force semi pro and this is my baby this is law or this is split zilla and uh this is the one that we built with the grabber arm on it um figured if you were messing around with big rounds you might want to pick them up versus roll them around was kind of the working theory so uh, one last little pan shot and then we'll go unit by unit here. All right, brute force log grapple, about a 48 inch opening, uh, rated for 3,000 uh, pounds at 3,000 PSI. Uh, the hoses and couplers are all standard, just your regular flat faced uh, skid steer connections. You do get your regular skid steer plate on the back of it for mounting. We've used it up at Boonville a little bit for running around, moving logs, loading the live decks. Uh, standard retail price on a log grapple is $3,450. So again, we'll put all the, the prices and specs in the description down below, but I am gonna go unit by unit. So um, brute force log grapple, Thirty-four fifty. All right, brute force wrapper. Uh, this is adjustable in and out right here at the nut. So you can, or at the bolt rather, you can pull this closer for a longer piece in between. You do get different notches here to mark out your cubic foot on the wrapped bundle going in. And you step on a foot pedal, which is in the box right here is what makes everything activate. Um, the shrink wrap is right from Uline is the cheapest place that I can find it. It's like 68 bucks for a case of four shipped. Their part number is S-2103. Um, so the Brute Force wrapper, uh, 2850 is the regular retail. And all of the prices that I'm giving you are picked up here at our woodlot. Um, let me come around the back just so you can see that nice elk design here on the back of it little electric motor and uh, it does have a gearbox to it so it doesn't spin around really fast like it's going to take off like an airplane propeller uh, the nice little roller wheels for moving it around again brute force wrapper 2850 all right so now the halversons so basically the three models are the 120s the 140 and the 150. now you might ask okay what are the differences basically my suggested cut diameter based on my own personal usage, not what the manufacturer says, but how I tell people what they take. So 16 inch cut diameter on the 120, 18 inch cut diameter on the 140. We do have a straight log video out there where we were doing 20 with it. And then the new 150s will cut up to about 24 inch. They do make an extended model, which just lengthens the splitter trough, so you can get a 36 inch block out of the 150. Um, and on the 140s and the 150s, which is new, 
they do a left-handed model. So like if you're running on a tool cat, a telehandle or an excavator, anything JCB, you know, with the mono boom, the Volvo, the MC machines, where if you want the splitter on the other side so you can see it directly in front of you, then that's the left-handed model. It adds like five or 600 bucks and the extended frame model runs like another 15, 1600 bucks. It's just a bigger cylinder and more steel for the bigger block. All of these will cut off right about, um, I think it's 21 inches between the saw and the wedge, but uh, really, really nice units. You know, a good, probably cord an hour out of the 120s, easy cord plus out of the 140, and then based on diameter, you know, of wood going into the 150s, you can really knock it out of the park just because 24 inch, you know, blocks really add up the cordage quick. Price wise, 120s are 10,650, 140s are 16.5, and the 150s are 21.5. The six way wedge, like what you see in this one, uh, they all come standard with the four way, but we do it six way, um, 650 bucks. I always throw in a couple of saw chains. They're normally like 40 bucks a piece. And then they're all gonna be standard with the 14 pin connector on it. Um, unless you don't have that in your machine, then we can do the in cab harness and that's 550 bucks. We do the single handed joystick controller. So if you want to either operate from outside the cab or just put all the controls on one hand because you're running something with the steering wheel like the tool cat, a tractor, a wheel loader or something, I think they're right about a thousand dollars now. So that's our Halverson lineup and they're all brand new, just came in, they're a day old. All right, split force units. This is an SF9, it is towable. It does take a two inch ball to move it around. We did this one with an upgraded axle, bearings, and highway tires. So you can take this one down the road, move it woodlot to woodlot, property to property, take it up the hunting cabin. Um, again, cruising speeds, we're not gonna go crazy here, people. There's no suspension. Keep it 45 miles an hour or under, and you should be fine. Uh, it does run a 20 inch cylinder across all of the split force units because of the 20 inch cylinder and the two stage pump. They do cycle in about three and a half seconds down and back. Uh, <clears throat> we brought them all in with the optional log lift. The log lift does add a thousand dollars to the price, but it does give you about four square feet more worth of real estate for splitting things. Um, they all have the foot pedal on them down here just to work the, the controls, the automatic spring return. And then you can run um, just the tension here to adjust the pedal up and down or move a, a chain link around. I keep the pedal high just because if you're off road, I don't want that to stub into the ground and bend anything. Um, the standard SF9 is $8,900 from the manufacturer. The log lift adds a thousand. So we're at 9,900 on the uh, new SF9 towable unit. So the next three I'm kind of going to do together. Um, 1116 is 11 horse, 16 foot conveyor. I do have these in the full up and I'll put a little PDF diagram in here so you can see um, overall size, heights and all that kind of good stuff. So the blue one is directly off of Mike Morgan's channel, Outdoors with the Morgans. Um, we dropped off a 1320 for him, so a little bit more horsepower and another four feet on the conveyor, but we did that one in orange. That way it matches all of his Kubota equipment. So the base 1116 is 18,900, add the log lift, you're another $1,000, so you're 19.9. We always get hit with $800 to bring stuff in just between transport and fees and duties coming in across the Canadian border. So these are normally $20,700. We're gonna do the demo unit for 18,000 even. So you can save 2,700 bucks by going with the blue one. It is a 2022 build and it does come with electric start, which is really nice upgrade. So if somebody wanted to do like a light kit or something for the darker winter hours, really easy to do. 
Um, so 18,000 for the blue unit. The black one is brand new, just had a couple pieces of wood put on it there at the Bunyan show. It is a standard pool start. So again, 20,700, and that's picked up here in Dallas, Pennsylvania. So pool start, no electric start, no battery, but full self-propelled. Then the next one is a 1320, 13 horsepower. We did put an electric start on that one. And uh, the price is 22200 Again, that's the base unit, the log lift, uh, the duties and fees coming in from uh, Canada. And I'll cover the cost of the electric start all in that $22,200. I'll back up here and kind of give you the, the reverse view. So again, the conveyors are all the way up on these and... Uh, we had the PDF in there for actual sizes and heights. All right, Brute Force Semi Pro, entry level commercial splitter, um, adjustable, manually adjustable height on the wedge, solid axle, 13 inch highway tires, uh, big bore on the cylinder, about a three and a half second, four second cycle time down and back really really does a spectacular job splitting firewood they always come standard with the log lift there in the background i do have a big bore cylinder or a, an upgraded cylinder with the big bore still kept the fast split so we went from like a four inch to a five inch cylinder and um that one's available with an electric start this is just your standard 14 horsepower Kohler uh command pro 14 uh, we have the hitch recess back in that does pull out and lock and pin, you know, up here. Um, show you the engine. In tank oil filter, big, big tank. The fast split block, 14 horse, two stage pump. Sight glass there on the reservoir tank. Um, the stock semi pros are $8,600. Again, a little bit of transport fees bringing it in. We'll call it 89. So instantly available. And now we'll move on to the big guy. Okay, so this is something that happens when I can't sleep at night. Um, at its core, this is a 26-24 resplit commercial splitter. Um, pullback arm, seven-way box wedge, log lift, attached 10-foot conveyor, 26 and a half horsepower Kohler EFI motor. But we took one of the log loaders, um, kind of similar platform as what we did, you know, on my processor. So we call this one Logzilla because of the arm. And then we call this one Splitzilla because it split stuff. So it's kind of what we do. Um, the base 2624 is right about 30,000. It's like 29 something in change. The log loader goes $1,000 per foot of reach. So that's nine grand. The extra frame, the extra valving, the extra hoses was like another two grand or something. So it really should be like a $41,000 splitter. Uh, I haven't used it the way that I thought I was going to because we just don't get the big wood. Um, I'll go over and see what the hour meter is, but there's not a lot. So. If I can get 37,000 out of this as a package, I would be very happy. It does come with a one year warranty on it. Um, all of the brute force stuff has a year warranty. Um, don't know if I can get to the hour meter from this side, but we'll try. Oh, there it is. We are showing a whopping 5.7 hours. It is not 57. There is a little decimal right there, 5.7 hours. So full auto cycle, pullback arm, box wedge, attached conveyor, the log lift can be transferred side to side. Um, all of your conveyor controls are down here. Single drag chain, top feed, you know, fill a dump trailer really nice. Smaller mason dump, definitely handle a pickup truck. <clears throat> solid axle um toes really nice 
and that is our splitzilla machine with the log loader on it all right so there's like two hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff behind me some of it was ordered in february some of it was ordered a couple weeks ago and some of it was ordered last week like the halversons because glenn and his team have been doing a spectacular job of keeping things in stock on the shelf ready to ship so Kudos to Glenn and his team at Halverson for doing that. The split four stuff is usually oh, 30 to 45 days. And uh, the brute four stuff, the bigger the, the machine, the longer the wait time. Um, splitters aren't horrible. Wrappers are pretty much around. The grapples are around. Um, we can ship factory direct if you're not near our part of the country, up here in the northeast. So... Um, as I always say, our videos are not a paid promotion by the manufacturer. I would love to earn your business with the sales quote. We do use everything that you see behind me and then some. Uh, we'll get the phone call on a Saturday afternoon when the manufacturers aren't answering their phone. But guess what? When you buy from us, you get my cell number. And then I am happy to help you with any kind of questions. So if we can earn your business with the sales quote... Um, call me it's 833 splitter that's 833-775-4887 you can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com uh, again would love to earn your business with that sales quote and get you into some of this really fancy firewood equipment um, we are located up in dallas pennsylvania 18612 just if you want to see how far you were from us and again we can ship factory direct and would love to uh earn your business and look forward to talking with you sometime soon uh we just loaded out some log lift firewood bags from a gentleman that drove up from delaware and uh we'll see you next time guys thanks for watching mm -hmm.